So I really thought this was going to happen later this month, but we got our first look at Sonic Frontiers gameplay, and a lot of us have been curious about how the game is going to play because it is an open world Sonic game. I haven't seen the trailer yet or the teaser. I'm going to watch it right now as I normally like to do with things I like on this channel, but this could not have come at a better time because I just uploaded a Sonic Forces full playthrough two days ago, so if you haven't seen that video and you want to check it out, I'll leave it in the video description. Just let me shamelessly plug for a second, and I want to try something real quick. Just hear me out. I'm going to be playing this game on my channel. I'm going to be playing Sonic Origins on my channel. I'm not a Sonic channel by any means, but I love Sonic, so I'm going to be playing through his catalog of games, and I do a lot of variety stuff. If that's your bag, I would love it if you subscribed. And I'm confident if every new viewer hit the subscribe button right now, I think we could break 500k. I know that sounds crazy, but help me out here because that's a big milestone and we're getting real close. Okay, I'm going to stop talking and let's watch the, the damn trailer. I like the piano theme. It feels very Xenoblade. Oh, wow. Okay. So we're going we're gonna to take this, take this a little slower than normal, but um, this... It looks really good so far. So that's CG. This looks like it's gameplay, but it I'm getting like big Xenoblade and PSO vibes. Okay, so whatever the hell this thing is, it looks like you have to run on it to charge or bring this is this is Guar Planes. That's what it is. Sonic Blade Chronicle. I oh, know what they did that already. Never mind. <laughs> Forget it. Did I said anything? Okay, so this looks kind of cool. Wouldn't be a Sonic game without grinding. I'm happy that it seems like auto running is gone. So, uh... It just, it, he looks a little stiff here, and that's what concerns me. Because I feel like the gameplay has to be fluid for this to be fun. Or maybe it doesn't. You know, I could be wrong here. I like these giant enemies. Running up them to destroy them, that seems cool. Uh, I'm trying to get a better look at, like, the actual combat. So it looks like he's doing, like, a bunch of kicks. I don't know what that tornado ability is. So homing attack, kicking, and punching seems to be uh, his main combat, as well as other abilities. I like the futuristic vibe of it, but my biggest concern going in, and I'm sure a lot of people are also concerned about this, is that the world looks... A, I know I'm pausing. I'm probably giving you a headache. The world looks a little bit empty. I mean, I, there's a bunch of stuff here, but uh, I just... I don't want to run around in a completely empty world because that's what Sonic 06 kind of felt like. Especially, like, the hub worlds. Like, pack this out with things to do. I'm not saying it has to be, you know, Breath of the Wild with shrines and things everywhere, but that's that's my biggest concern. The game looks good visually. I hope it plays well in terms of being smooth and the combat's fun, because Sonic is looking a little stiff, but then again, the game is supposed to come out later this year. This could be a very early build. Uh, but let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. I wonder if time travel is going to have something to do with it, being that it looks like Sonic is restoring parts of the world here, because I don't know what like this grid texture is over here, but maybe as you explore the world, you fill it in. It's, it's so Fantasy Star Online. I'm optimistic. Just like I said, as long as the gameplay isn't stiffer than a weak old loaf of Italian bread, and there's things to do, I think there's potential to be a, a pretty decent to good Sonic game here. I don't know about great, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I'm going to play it anyway. Whether it's good or bad, you guys know I'm going to play it, so... That's all I got. Um, let me know in the comments section what you think, and we'll catch you next time.